we interrupt this program to bring you a breaking news alert. This is a Prodigy Bulletin. Look, up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's actually a crane. And it has removed the Brunswick Zone signage from the front of the bowling center. And there's another truck out there by the street with another crane working on the sign by the street. So I'm guessing that while I'm inside giving a lesson here, we're gonna be getting new signage on the building. Woohoo! Well, here's the new sign. Soon, it will be up there. High above the bowling center, formerly known as Brunswick Zone Roswell, they're putting the new sign up for Bolero. It still says Brunswick Zone. But until a few hours ago, this sign was painted blue. And pretty soon, it's gonna say Bolero. On the back of this blue thing, it says, Brunswick Zone. But it ain't up there anymore. He's hammering on that thing on the other side to get the sign down. And he's coming down. Going back up. the Brunswick sign. 
That might look nice in somebody's rec room. Shoot, I might take that thing home. I'm sure they don't want it. I can fit it in my SUV, I might just take it. My living room looks like a warehouse anyway. Might be kind of fun. Okay, the Brunswick zone is gone from the north side of the sign. Now he's got the things on the south side to take care of. Here we are, it's Thursday, April 11th. I think today's the 11th, 2019. And at long last, the sign is coming down from in front of Brunswick Zone Roswell as the place has been renamed Bolero Roswell. Shortly after they get these signs down, they'll be putting the new ones up. And they'll make sure that they light up like they're supposed to. A little while ago, he put the fifth coat of red paint over the base of the sign here at 785 Old Roswell Road in Roswell, Georgia. You see the address painted on the sign, 785. We also see their phone number on the removable letters on the sign. So in case you're looking for a place to bowl league, I'm sure they would love to hear from you at 770-998-9437. As the guy hammers away at the zone sign, I remember when this bowling center was just called Brunswick Roswell. I used to bowl here in about 1998 when it was called that. It still had the white double lane gold crown masking units and a brick wall separating the concourse area from the settee area. And if memory serves, I think you had to step down a step or two to get down into the settee area. I think the concourse was elevated a little bit. But the Americans with Disabilities Act that passed in the 90s changed all that. That's why you see most bowling centers have gone to kind of a flat um, topography where the concourse area and the settee is all on the same level. so that they're all wheelchair accessible. And here goes the zone. farther. Be careful, dude. These things are, I think they're just vinyl and they're applied over a, a white plastic backing allows the lights to illuminate from behind. If you look there 
at the spot that's behind where the zone sign used to be. There are, I imagine those are fluorescent lights in there that illuminate the sign from behind. Now I don't know if they have to remove the vinyl from these white plastic backings and put the new signs on them or if there's a whole new piece that goes up. But we're going to find out. As this live continuing coverage for Prodigy Bowlers Tour continues from outside Bolero Roswell. The home of Prodigy Bowlers Tour more of the sign crew on hand. There was a team of three that was working today. There's the sign here out by the street. And also the sign on the front of the building, which has already been switched out for the most part. I think they still have to put the, the face on the sign. leaving until darkness falls on Roswell, Georgia, and they're able to see these signs light up. Okay, we're going to go with a uh, two in the carrier this time to take out the Brunswick sign. And one of them just got a phone call. He's got to take this call before he can go up, so they're gonna they're gonna wait. So there's a break in the action. Well, he's gonna go back up all by himself. Well, he got the other one down by himself. I think I'm, he can probably get this one down too. This is a big, strong boy that's going up in this crane. Let me tell you, I talked to him earlier. I wouldn't want to mess with him. Getting a little wind kicking up. assume not much farther than it's already gone. And now he's going to go to the far edge of the sign and try to loosen it. And I don't know if you can tell from this angle, but that crane is waving back and forth. I don't know if that's the wind or if he's just trying to move it into position. But he's got it pretty close right up next to the sign now. He's banging on it. side that it was tough to get it loose which makes sense
sense because this sign, I told you earlier that this polling center used to be called Brunswick Roswell. And this sign went up when they changed the name to Brunswick Salon. And I think that was back in about 2000, maybe 2001, something right around then. I don't know the exact date, but. So it's 2019 now. That sign has been up there for 17, 18, 19 years, something like that. It has weathered a lot of storms out here in the Georgia heat and the Georgia winters. But it is coming down today. Now he is retracting this crane to the other side because he's satisfied that he's loosened it on the other side sufficiently that he should be able to pull it right out. Now he may have to... Oh look, I don't know if you can tell, but the lights just came on. The lights are on on the front of the building as well. We'll swing around and show that to you in a second. There's the Bolero sign on the front of the building. It's all lit up. But they've got to put the plastic facing on the letters and on the ring of the logo. And here comes the Brunswick sign. Got it. And that sucker is coming down. How about that? Now, honest to God, where are you going to find compelling entertainment like this? This is must-see TV if ever I've seen it. All right, who wants the Brunswick sign? He's standing on it. Don't leave your footprints on that, dude. Now, I don't know, they're probably going to haul the old sign down to their trailer before they uh, put up the Bolero sign, maybe? The Bolero sign is on their trailer. What I want to know... There's two panels that go up there. One on top and one on the bottom. One of them's gonna say Bolero. Will the other one say Roswell? Will they both say Bolero? Or will they put some sort of advertising thing there? I'll bet, I'll bet. Here's my bet, I haven't seen it, so I'm, I'm guessing. But here's my bet. One of them will be the Bolero logo, like you see on the front of the building there. And I'll bet the other one is that goofy trademark they've got with the bowling ball with antlers. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The big, nasty Brunswick sign. And the closer you get to it, the more you realize probably wouldn't want this thing hanging in your house. It's pretty nasty. Here's the other one over here. This 
one's actually in better shape. This was on the north side. See, here in the south, as in most of the country, the wind blows from the south. So it was the south-facing sign that took the biggest beating. This one actually looks okay. I wouldn't hesitate to put this one in my house. Except it won't fit in my car, so it ain't happening. But there you go. A collector's item that will go uncollected. Here's the sign on the front of the building. They've just put the plastic face over the letters. There are lights inside each letter. There may be a plastic face that goes on the top portion of the ring too. It looks like we may be seeing into the sign here. I would guess that they're going to want to see it turn on before they're done. These guys have been out here since about, I guess, one o'clock. It's not sure what time it is, maybe seven-ish. Gets dark about eight. side Bolero or as Big Logan M calls it Bolero I'm guessing there's probably some screws they got to tighten to get everything all buttoned down, fastened properly. They tell me that Brunswick Zone sign that you see, it's loaded on the trailer now, it's turned upside down. Thing weighs about 800 pounds, they said which would explain why they had the big old cranes. That thing was already down by the time I pulled up today to give a lesson at one o'clock. So I say they were here since about noon. They might have been here earlier than that. I really don't know. Probably were. I would imagine that was a bit of a job to get that thing down and safely loaded onto that trailer. As much as you might think you'd think it was cool to have that big old neon sign in your rec room at home, good luck getting that 800 pound piece of metal positioned in your home. I don't think so.
They said this was a pretty small job for them. I imagine it is. It's a beautiful night in Roswell, Georgia. Partly cloudy skies, bit of wind. And now get a load of this. As he lowers the truck back down onto the ground. It was up on stilts. those legs and then he'll pick up those cinder blocks off the ground and load them up on the trailer I'm sure either that or they've got some sort of compartment for them to live in and look at here I think we just spotted the compartment eh, maybe not that one looks pretty full Paper towels come in handy everywhere. They may be just wiping off the sign to get all the smudges and dirt off that may have come off their hands. A little Windex. I think that's exactly what's going on. A little cleanup. Judging how the west or the south facing street sign got beat up, I'm guessing that this sign will take a similar beating because it's also facing to the south, albeit not as high. Thursday night, and as you can plainly see, it's league night. And the parking lot is starting to fill up. I think the bowling center has about maybe half the house with leagues tonight. I think one of their leagues may have already finished for the season. We're in late April, or middle of April anyway. What is today, the 11th? So I guess it's early, mid-April. You're watching live to tape continuing coverage of the transformation of Brunswick Zone Roswell to Bolero Roswell. We're watching them complete the work changing out the sign on the front of the building. They have already removed the Brunswick Zone signage from the big street sign and as soon as they complete this work they will move this truck up to the street area and they will begin work on putting in the Bolero signs out by the street and then their work will be done. What a great way to waste an afternoon. 
for me, that is. And I suppose for you, too, if you're watching this. I'm hearing some screwdriver action going on up there, so apparently something had to be screwed on tight. But I think they've got that sign pretty well positioned. And at least we can say that it matches the color scheme of the paint job on the building now. Whereas the old Brunswick Zone sign kind of clashed when Bullmore AMF bought all the Brunswick Recreation Centers in 2014. They went through and painted all the buildings. And this one, as you can see, is gray and red. And they wanted to do some other things to it. And I understand the city of Roswell was having none of it. Most of the Bullmore AMF centers at the time had a big sign on the outside that was painted on the face of the building that said, Bowling. I think if you go to a Bolero or a, an AMF center anywhere in the country, you'll usually see that kind of signage. But the city of Roswell was saying, Nope, not in our backyard. I remember they went round and round with them on that. So they went with something a little more subdued. And now they have a new sign. The inside of the bowling center, all the masking units are up. The furniture is redone. There's still one more phase of furniture upgrade that's coming. They're gonna put some high top counters and a railing in to separate the concourse from the bowler's settee area. Give the spectators a place to sit. But I think once that's done, unless we have video screens coming, and I've heard mixed reports about that, there may still be something coming, then this is gonna be pretty close to being done. And there is supposed to be a new sound system and I'm pretty excited about that so that they can play their music down by the low end when we're taping Prodigy on the high end and they won't bother us as much. And I'm all for that. The sooner the better. Job well done here. This company is North Atlanta Installation. Their truck says Atlanta and Cleveland. I assume they mean Cleveland, Illinois, but I don't know that for a fact. Maybe it's Cleveland, Tennessee. is already coming down the ladder. The other guy, I think, is just finishing up on tightening the screws around the outside edges of the Bolero sign. Once he's done, they're gonna retract the other crane and take everything up to the street. And look at this, the ladder is now coming down. And I think the job here is complete. Poor guy's gonna get tired of holding that ladder. But he's throwing all the rest of his stuff down, and so he is gonna head down. And now the next stop is the street sign for the final step in this process. So I'm going to head on up there and get in position.
he's just cleaning up some of his mess up there on top of the overhang. Otherwise, I think he's done. Now, I gotta tell you, if you have watched this all the way through, you have the patience of Job. This has got to be like watching paint dry. But I'm dedicated. I'm gonna stand here and film it for you so that you can see every piece of action there is to see. So we will take our Prodigy Eyewitness News camera over to the street, and that's where the next phase of activity should be occurring in a few minutes. Okay, now I'm taking bets on whether or not the bowling ball with the antlers is going on the top or if it's going on the bottom panel and the Bolero logo goes on the top or the bottom panel. One's going one way and one's going the other. Okay, they're about to go up with this thing. And I think they're gonna hang this one on the north side. So we're about to find out whether it's... Well, I think they're going on the north side. It looks to be the way they are oriented. I think the uh, antlers are going on the bottom and the bolero is going on top. That would make the most sense to me. And that is exactly what's happening. They're gonna want me out of the way, I think. rigid enough. I didn't think it was. It looked a little too flexible. Get a good wind going, that thing will blow right out of there. Yeah, please do not fall out of that thing.
Well, they do these all the time. I'm sure they know what they're doing. They're calling for assistance. I think they have called for a second truck with a second crane to come around on this side. So he is going to pull around. And that's going to be my cue to get the heck out of the way. Okay, so I learned that the signage on the side of the truck which says North Atlanta Installation Atlanta Cleveland, that's actually Cleveland, Georgia. And I had forgotten that there's a Cleveland, Georgia. It's up near Helen, Georgia. And I'll bet you didn't know we had a Helen, Georgia either, but it's kind of an alpine looking resort area. People go tubing down the river there in the summer. It's pretty cool. We've got another guy who's about to get geared up, and he's going to go up the crane himself. This is a three-man job here, so I'm going to have to stand back and get out of the way. Because I know they're not going to want me being in harm's way, and I don't want to be in harm's way either. sign on the side of the bowling alley. It's nice and bright. As darkness is falling on the outdoors here in Roswell, Georgia. And now watch this. Watch the professionals at work. Please be careful. Oh, please, for the love of God, be careful.
amazing. This really is kind of amazing, I have to say. I mean, it's not so amazing that I'd want to do this for a living. I've got a friend that does this for a living. His name is Randy also. I don't know if he works on these outdoor signs. I know he works on signs, though. Okay, it's in there. Now, I'm pretty sure they've got those frames that go around them. I thought they would have to go up there with them. there's a little slot on the right side of the sign that you've got to slip it into. There you go, he just found it. It's in now. Shoot, they may be at this until 10 o'clock tonight. It's got to be getting to be around 8 p.m. now. The guy told me they started around 10, 10.30 this morning. It took them the better part of three, three and a half hours to get the big giant Brunswick Zone sign taken down. That behemoth weighs about 800 pounds, so I'm sure that was a mess to do. But they seem to have gotten it down with no harm to anything or anyone. It's pretty impressive. Okay, so he's screwing in the sides. They're going to leave him up there while they go and get whatever's next. Which I would assume is going to be those metal frames. Unless they want to put the bowling ball with antlers up on the other side first. I would think they'd want to do all the stuff on the south side of the sign first and then do the north side. But I could be wrong. Oh, there's the Bolero sign. Yeah, that's going to go up first.
pretty interesting how they do this. Boy, it is quite an undertaking. Just for the record, I don't know how well the camera is going to show this, but if I tilt up just a little, there's the moon. Red and white. If it's good enough for Coca Cola, it's good enough for Bolero. Two pretty strong colors for branding. This is the uh, advertising side of Randy coming out. That's a pretty bold logo, I must say. And since their slogan is Be Bold, B-O-W-L-E-D, that seems appropriate. So what do you think? Does the bowling ball with antlers, does that convey bowling? And we're having fun? I think so. I think they need to replace one of the light bulbs in the back of that sign. The right side of the bolero is a little dim, but... They'll get around to that one day. As soon as some of the corporate bigwigs come in and see it dim, I bet they have it fixed within a week. Okay, they're screwing it in. So apparently this side is done. And I'm assuming they still have those frames to put on it to hold it in place. This guy's staying up. They're coming down. assume that he is swinging that thing back around so that he can reposition his truck and I probably need to fan moves so he's got room to get it where he needs to get it he may want to put that thing here on the sidewalk right where I'm standing so we're gonna stop the camera and wait until they get around to the other side Yesterday, today, okay, they're up again, going for the south side of the sign.
side. That thing will stay in there the first time we get a real wind, windy day. But I have a feeling there's still some pieces they have to attach up there that'll keep it from blowing away. until it finds the slot. I would think if you put a little, like, duct tape on it or something, and pull it, that would help drag it into position. But they're the professionals, not me. I'm just a goon standing down here with a camera. There you go, he's going up from the bottom, from behind. They won't have that option on the one down below, but... I think he may have found it, may have gotten it into the slot. He got it. He's coming down.
must be happy that they got that one in place. All right, it's the fourth and final piece to the street sign here at Bolero Roswell. And it's about to go up. These guys have been going at it, I'm told, since 9.30 this morning. Probably 6.30 when they started loading what they had to load at the at wherever it is they start from. Their warehouse or factory or whatever it is. Now, I don't know this for a fact, but I would assume that the vinyl artwork that's stuck on these white uh, plexiglass-like surfaces, the artwork was probably done by Bolero's ad agency. And I don't know, they may have an in-house ad agency. They probably do. I don't know. Their marketing team. But they probably uh, printed them out or had them printed out by a third-party vendor and then uh, had them shipped here. And then the sign company probably provided the, the white plastic surface to stick them on. And now this one's going in. Slipping it into the into the sign box itself is the easy part. It's the getting it fitted into the slot on the left side that's a little tricky, but enough banging around and wiggling and nudging and it finally seems to find its way in eventually. So basically it's the same sign, it's the same hardware that holds the signage. All they do is change out the, the artwork on the little sheets that go in it. They'll still have the little part at the bottom where they can put their custom message. already got it. He found it right away. So the only thing left now is to screw it in. And I'm going to move so that I don't get under that thing. And then eventually they'll have these red metal frames that go up that will hold all these signs in place. But you have now seen the transformation of Brunswick Zone Roswell into Bolero Roswell. The sign is up. The sign on the building is up. That's where they've been working on the sign, up by the street. And that's where they put up the sign earlier. And with that, I think we're going to sign off. This is Coach Randy. This has been continuing coverage. Oh, boy, has it continued on and on and on. From the transformation of Bolero Roswell from Brunswick Zone Roswell.
and boy, if you have sat through this entire video, you're a better man than I. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. It was certainly different. Take care.